this is so important for mind clarity and that's the rule that will simplify me so that's one big decision that uh, like general attitude that will force me and push me into some direction yeah <laughs> the galaxy path and that was really metaphoric uh, and really powerful so refreshing for our mind and if you need a guide through this putting life on a paper you can check my Hello friends, today I'm going to share with you five simple ways you can use to clear your mind. Stay with me till the end of the video. So anytime we feel overwhelmed, we feel anxiety, we feel lost and confused in life, that means that it's time for some mind clarity detox something, program, day or um, intervention we can say so I will share with you right now those five things that I do when I feel uh, when I start feeling uh, a little bit of anxiety when I'm overwhelmed when I feel confused and all those feelings the first thing is clarify your attitudes or make that decisions that that makes you confused um, sometimes it's hard for us to decide about something um, and that makes it more difficult to start doing something that we know we should do for example if I think that I should take care of uh, cooking and the diet of uh, for the family but I'm still not sure what cookware I'm going to choose, what type of diet, what uh, food is good, what recipes I'm going to use. I will just delay. I will just delay. Delay? Delay? I will just delay that um, starting point, okay? Or if I uh, should start some project, if I should start some new course. Uh, but I'm not sure what am I going to teach if I want to start some career. Okay, if you want to start uh, making online courses, but you don't know uh, what is your niche. Okay, um, so whatever is bothering you and you know you have to decide which side, uh, on which side you will be, um, you should sit down and clarify and make that decision like general attitudes in life that you are going to follow for example uh, like I wrote here okay I cook whole food so that's one big decision that uh, like general attitude that will force me and push me into some direction and simplify my cooking so that's the rule for cooking whole food diet and that's the rule that will simplify me. Another thing, uh, for example, about work. I work in the mornings. So if you have like difficulties, you find the time you're working from home, you have a lot of work and things and family to take care. But if I decide that I am going to work in the morning every day, so that will then it will be much easier for me to organize the whole the whole day another rule that i have i don't read or watch some unnecessary content so news or something that i'm not interested in i don't want to overwhelm my brain and i want to let into my brain only something that is necessary and useful and i'm trying to to put this rule into uh, my parenting number two deal with worries on a paper we do so many things digitally but there is something more meaningful um, when we do that on a paper okay um, that's why journaling is good but you don't have to journal okay so simply when you feel this way and when you want to clear your mind uh, take one one simple page and clear your mind write down everything and then you can show that paper never mind 
but deal with the worries okay if there is something that you worry about or that is constantly there over your head uh, but you are trying to put that under the carpet or suppress it that's completely wrong and um, that's why we uh, got some unnecessary and unwanted uh, mental um, states of mind. Putting everything on a paper is so relaxing and so refreshing for our mind. And if you need a guide through this putting life on a paper, you can check my new Skillshare course that I released recently. You will find the link below. And it's about plan, organize and simplify your whole life with one visual and creative and simple system. And uh, if you click on that link to take my course, you will get, uh, I think now, two months of um, premium skill share membership. Third thing, throw away unnecessary thoughts and limiting beliefs. If you are going on a therapy and if you already know what are those unnecessary thoughts and limiting beliefs and where they come from, the next step that you can do is to throw away or just ignore them. I mean, not ignore, but um, put them on a side and think and behave from some more better and rational and uh, productive part of your mind. It's really not easy to um, simply avoid those unnecessary thoughts. They will come and come again and again, of course, because they are strongly implemented into your belief system with really strong neural paths. But you have a choice. Are you going to follow them and to behave through them or you're going to recognize them put them on a side and then act and behave from some other part of your mind that you can pick number four share your thoughts with someone sharing thoughts with someone well i think this is the rule that uh, pushes me to keep going with this youtube channel well i feel so good when i share my thoughts with you so share your thoughts with someone you care about someone who is close to you uh, some family member or partner or friend uh, don't keep all of your thoughts for you for yourself there is one interesting fact in psychology when we feel pain and when we, when we feel alone or um, when we suffer when we are not okay um, what pushes us to have a contact with other people and to share something and to feel better is the oxytocin, is the happiness hormone. So it's released when we have a social contact with other human beings. And uh, that's why I implemented this rule and I recommend it to my clients. I mean, they have that uh, when they work with me okay in our sessions they have that part like sharing the thoughts but i also mean sharing with someone who is really close to you and who you really care about to bond with someone uh, and also every time when you feel really bad and uh, when you think that you are alone the first thought that can help is that there are so many people who probably feel the same thing you do and number five have nothing time <laughs> well we can compare this uh, with some kind of meditation but also there are some people who don't know how to meditate so that is also like frustrating for them okay now i have to go and to meditate so if you are that kind of man or woman um you can just have the nothing time and the nothing time is simply time for nothing this is the moment when you lay down to some comfortable place where wherever you want and you forget about all um 
life areas, obligations, um, tasks, needs, shoulds, and musts. And you are simply a human being here on the planet Earth and you are just existing. So this is so important for mind clarity and for that relaxing because we are constantly in that race for something and we our brain doesn't have time to rest okay yes we sleep but to consciously rest there is something powerful in that conscious resting time and that's what i also do and it doesn't mean that you have to be completely in a silence and you know have a zen garden or something i do that sometimes with my kids when my kids are around me so i will just lay down in a bed and i will just hug them and i will not think about anything i try not to think about anything so just uh, um, be focused on this pure happy moment in life just schedule time for nothing like you have this that too like schedule time for worry and so this is schedule time nothing time and that is helping me to really relax and to really um, feel that simplicity of life because when you take that bird perspective and when you take a look from some another point you see how your problems are small recently i was watching one uh, national geographic um sh uh, show <laughs> okay tv show video about the cosmos and the universe one of the speakers said he was explaining some um yeah the galaxy path and he explained that from the earth and from the our galaxy we can see other galaxies I mean, they scientists they can see other galaxies but what is the problem they are not able to see our own and that was really metaphoric uh, and really powerful like um, I can see the other planets and I can see the other universes and I can observe everything what is there outside but the problem is that I'm not able uh, from from this point of view I am not able to from the bird view see myself and the complete situation and that's why sometimes our problem seems bigger than they are and we unnecessarily produce that uh, high amount of cortisol in our organism and then we end up anxious or depressed. <sighs> so those were the five ways I use and I recommend to my clients to clear the mind. And I hope uh, this will help you and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to give me some support. <laughs> And uh, write me in the comments if you have any questions, any suggestions or anything that you would like to share with me.